Hello there, Mrs. Drake. Um, we are going to be doing lesson 22, and this video is for trombone, baritone, and it's for French horn also. I did not bring my French horn home. Sorry about that. So French horn people, you have to deal with the trombone. Baritone people, you got to deal with me playing the trombone. Okay, so everybody take a look at lesson two, 22. Lesson 22. Song one, Irish reel. Song one, Irish reel. French horns, you have some slurs. Baritones, you have some slurs. Trombones, you have slurs also. But trombone, remember, don't do the slur. Trombone, don't do the slur. All right, check the key signature. French horns, you have no key signature. So when you have a B, make sure you're doing middle valve, middle valve for Bs, middle valve for your Bs. Trombones and baritones, look at your key signature of song number one. It's only B flat, only B flat. So that means the E's have to be in second position and the A's have to be in second position. Baritones, the E's have to be second valve, middle valve. Or the a uh, the a's have to be middle valve, and that's where you gotta trust your own brain. You gotta know your own brain. Do you need to write reminders? Do you trust yourself to remember that? Um, please use pencil, and it's totally okay to write in your music. It's totally okay to write reminders in your music. It's better than playing it wrong. So remember, trombones and baritones, second finger for the a's, second position, or second finger for the e's, second position. Uh, e naturals, a naturals. Okay. So the first note of song one, everybody find your first note. And we're going to go bum, 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 that speed. Later in the piece, there's some accents, the arrows over the notes. It means to tongue them louder, make it come out a little bit louder. Not that important, it's icing on the cake. If you don't feel like you can, you can handle it, don't worry about it. There are some rests. Let's count the rests carefully. There's also DC al fine. DC al fine means return to the beginning. It's a type of repeat sign. DC al fine means return to the beginning and stop at the word fine. Bum, 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 bum. Everybody find your first note again. One, two, ready. <sighs> Irish reel. Okay, everybody take a look at number two, Shepherd's Hay. Number two, Shepherd's Hay. This one also has the DC al fine, which means return to the beginning and stop at the word fine. Check the key signature. It's different from Irish reel. French horns, you have B flat. Make sure you use first finger B flat. Lots of B's in this song. They all have to be played as B flat. Um, trombones and baritones, you have B flat and E flat. B flat and E flat. Let me look, are there any A's? There are no A's in this song. If there was, they would be played second, but there are no A's, so that's okay. Okay, everybody, song number two. Everybody find your first note. And we'll play it. Bum, 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 bum. That speed. One, two, song two, go. Thank you. 
It's a nice melody. Shepherds say, I apologize that I lose my tone sometimes. I'm sorry about that, everybody. Let me go have a drink of water. Okay, song three is Sweet Molly Malone in three, four time. Notice that the first measure is considered a pickup note, meaning the first measure only has one beat where it's supposed to have three. That's considered a pickup note. Many, many, many songs start on pickup notes. It's very commonly used. When a song starts on a pickup note, that means that the last measure is usually incomplete too. You can see that this book broke the rules. The last measure is a three beat note and it didn't. Technically, I think it should only be a two beats because typically on a song that has a pickup note, the first measure added to the last measure should equal the, the right amount. In this situation, it should be three. Okay, check the key signature, of course. Also check the rhythm. In the third measure of the song, you see it's tita. Um, the two, uh, the new rhythm on this page, um, where the eighth note and then the dotted quarter note. We're used to playing it in the other order, like in the second measure, ta ti ta. If you look at the third measure, it's ti ta. It's the opposite. The short one comes first. The short one comes first. It still adds up to two beats, but the short one comes first. Um, okay, so on song number three, let me find the first note. me a second to find it. Remember, my trombone tone skills are not that great. Okay, so low F. For the trombones and the baritones, you got to find low F. So for baritones, it's 1-3. For trombone, it's 6th position, but let it go really, really deep. French horns, you start on a C. Nice, comfortable note for you. Um, ta, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, 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 Ti ta ti ta. That's going to be the speed. So kind of slow. Everybody, find that first note again. And I'm going to lead it off with just one two. One two. bursts out. A um, lot of repeated notes and it looks to me like the trombone and the baritone book is not exactly the same as the French horn book. So realize French horn people you won't be playing exactly the same tones as me. It looks like the rhythms are the same but sometimes the tones are different. Um, trombones remember there is a slur don't do the slur. Baritone and French horn people try to do the slurs there's only one. Check the key signature. Okay everybody find the first note. <laughs> Let's do it. Bum, 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 bum. Check the key signature. One, two, ready. Lesson 22.